everyone welcome back to sugar mama tv i am canna campbell so today's video i want to share with you how i afford luxury designer handbags this is a subscriber request because you guys know that obviously i really value a healthy strong financial future but i'm also a normal girl who loves a handbag for me a beautiful handbag no matter what brand it is or what type it is can really elevate an outfit and really i guess give your whole entire look a special touch and help identify your own signature style. So I'm gonna share with you seven tips that help me afford luxury designer handbags without ever jeopardizing my financial well-being. All right, tip number one is goals first. So at the beginning of every year and sporadically throughout the year, I set myself some really exciting but really important goals. Goals around my financial well-being and goals around my own personal growth. Now, I will reward myself with a handbag if I have achieved those goals or if I know that I've given those goals the best possible chance of happening and I've worked really hard. This is a conversation that I have to have with myself where I'm really honest and really genuine about how hard I have really worked. Now, if I've achieved those goals, of course, I will go and reward myself with a handbag. And for me, that's incredibly important because when I go to grab that handbag, it reflects a certain stage or part of my life where I've achieved something or I worked on something or I discovered something about myself. And it means I can enjoy that handbag guilt free. Tip number two is patience. I have to exercise a lot of patience whilst I'm saving up for a handbag. I would never ever go and buy a handbag and put it on my credit card and get myself into credit card debt thinking, oh, I'll deal with it later. Absolutely not. I save up first. And yes, sometimes that will mean I'm saving for a really long time, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest because it means I'm going to appreciate that handbag so much more. Delayed gratification. And when I use that handbag, I enjoy it guilt-free, knowing that I worked really hard for it and I prioritized, of course, my goals first. Also by saving up first, this completely scorches any temptation of impulse purchases. And also means I'm so happy with my final purchase. Tip number three is research. I never want to go and buy a handbag that I regret because that's obviously a huge waste of money. So whilst I'm saving, exercising that patience and self-control, I will do as much research as possible. I will look up street style. I'll look up reviews of that handbag. I will research various different brands and what, how people style those outfits. And of course, I'll make sure that when I'm researching that that particular handbag will match my lifestyle and my color palette. And of course, is incredibly versatile. This is really important to me. And this is actually a really fun part because I get really excited about the purchase. And this can sometimes be an additional driving force or a different additional source of motivation to help me really hurry up and achieve those goals as quickly as possible so I can go and reward myself with that particular purchase. Tip number four is pre-loved. I want to be honest with you, I much prefer a pre-loved handbag than buying a handbag brand new. Not only does this help me save a lot of money, I also love that the handbag comes to me with a story. It's quite often been to places that I've never been to before or been to more places than I've ever been. I think it has something really special about someone handing over a handbag and it going on and having additional life as well as of course the environmental benefits. So there are a couple of websites I absolutely love. The Vestia Collective, Farfetch, uh, trading in style the purse affair and I will obviously link all these in the video description box below for your benefit But I really recommend trying and looking at a pre-loved handbag before you go and reward yourself with a handbag You will be surprised as to how much money you can really save and also quite often when you buy a pre-loved handbag They're not as common. So you have something very special. Maybe even one of a kind now, I will also do the full disclosure that this can sometimes come with a catch-22, particularly if you're looking for a pre-loved handbag that is really rare because it may take a really long time to find that handbag or vice versa, you will actually find that handbag too quickly. You haven't actually achieved that goal yet, but that one-of-a-kind handbag comes up on the pre-loved market and it's really well-priced. Now, this has happened to me before. It happened once and this is what I did. I actually went ahead and purchased that handbag with cash and I actually asked a friend to hold on to that handbag for me and I was not allowed to touch that handbag until I had actually achieved that goal. 
And again, knowing that that handbag was so close, it was almost mine, but not mine, was a great driving force of and source of motivation and inspiration to hurry up and achieve my goals as quickly as possible. And it really made me, I guess, put a bit of a boot up my bum to work even harder to achieve those goals. Tip number five is dupes, all right. There are handbags out there that I would absolutely love to buy, but they are unrealistically priced. They're completely out of my price range. And I'm actually okay with that because I have a value system and I have a threshold when it comes to buying handbags. So I'm really happy to buy a dupe, particularly for a handbag I really love, and I find a great replacement, which is a fraction of the price. Now, I'm actually thinking of making a special video for you guys, sharing with you my best dupes or the best dupes that I think there are out there. So let me know by commenting in the comment box below if you would like this video. But I wanna share with you a recent handbag dupe that I purchased. Now there is a handbag out there which I have wanted for a really long time and I've been looking online for the best price to buy it and I discovered that it's now gone up to over $8,000. Now for me that is just a little bit crazy. I love that handbag but I don't love it that much. However, I think it's a great handbag and I love the beautiful details behind it and I found a fantastic dupe from Farfetch. Now this is from it's called the Stan Studio. I believe it's a Scandinavian brand. And the color is absolutely beautiful. It's got the same kind of spongy look that I was trying to get from the handbag that I originally wanted that's now completely overpriced. And it's got the beautiful gold detailing in the hardware. So it matches any of my gold pieces of jewelry. It's quite high-end luxe look and feel. And it's the great size for me in that I can fit my handbag, in my handbag, I can fit my phone, I can fit my keys, my sunglasses, a bit of makeup, and any other little knickknacks that I need in my handbag. And I can, this for me is also great because I can throw it over my shoulder and it will go with all of the items in my wardrobe because it's complementary to my color palette. So I'm really happy with this. And once I, this arrived, I tried it on with all my different clothes and accessories and realized how fantastic it was. The sensation or the desire to go and buy that other handbag that's over $8,000 has completely and absolutely evaporated because I'm really happy with this tube. Tip number six is to use cash back websites like Cash Rewards or even Shop Back. Now, quite often they have special offers where they might give bonus cash back rather than the normal standard. So I always make sure I'm subscribed to these websites. So the moment one of my favorite websites comes up where they're offering a special deal where you might get say 15% cash back instead of say four or 5% cash back, it's really great to know. And if I've been working really hard on my goals and I've been saving up along the way, this is a great way to help bring down the total cost of that particular handbag. And I have to say, using these websites has been really helpful in allowing me build up a $200,000 share portfolio. Because as you know, every single dollar really does add up. And then my final tip for affording luxury designer handbags is quality over quantity. I would much prefer to own less handbags but have a better quality handbag because for me, better quality is going to last and stand the test of time. I'm gonna be able to give those beautiful handbags that are really well made a story, a journey, an experience, and they're all going to contribute towards my own sense of style and taste and of course my own signature style because that's what I love, value, use and appreciate. Now, of course, handbags are not the be all and end all. I really value having balance in my life. I really love having beautiful experiences, having great connections with my friends, and of course, working on my own personal growth. So it's not all about handbags and financial goals. It's about enjoying life to the best of your ability. And of course, knowing what you love, value, use, and appreciate, and living a life in alignment to your values. So I really hope that this video helps you understand how I afford luxury designer handbags. And if you're someone like me who also enjoys luxury purchases, you can use some of these tips or all of these tips to allow more mindful and meaningful purchases in your life where you get to really love, value, use and appreciate anything you choose to purchase because you've purchased it mindfully in the right type of way. All right, everyone, let me know what you think about this video, whether you'd like more videos like this. And of course, if you would like that video on my top dupes going around right now, because I'd love to share this with you. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week ahead. And of course, I will link in the video description box all the handbags that you may have seen throughout this video. Ciao for now.